You just ran over my skateboard. What? You ran over my skateboard. Oh, I don't care. This is a parking lot. I'll be right in, John. Okay. What are you, what are you doing? I can't see your skateboard. It's weird. Can you back up a little bit? Yeah. Thank you. I, there had better not be any damage done to my car. I'm calling the police. Did you get permission from the, you know, from the place to use this? Mm -hmm. Well, then why don't you leave? Okay. Before I call the police. But first, you have to get off my board. Where's your board? It just, <laughs> you just ran over it. There it is. Oh. Can you get there it? There you go. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. And I don't really feel like getting any lip from anybody today. So I'm in not a good mood and I'm sorry about your skateboard, but I'd appreciate it if you guys wouldn't damage any of the cars out here. Oh, no problem. You know? It's safe. He's gonna kick all of us out. All right, is he a mean guy? Yeah. I felt like I was some kind of criminal being incurred just for the skating. Killian Martin is a very famous skateboarder from Madrid, Spain. Naturally, he's gonna wanna come to California and make it big. He came and lived on the couch here for a little bit. I think when he got here, he didn't realize all the um, legalities of being in this country. Basically, when you come here for vacation, you have three months, three months um, visa and then you gotta leave the country, otherwise you're here illegally. And if you get caught, you're deported. And when you're deported, it's not just a free ticket home, it's you can't come back for 10 years or more. Thanks to this guy, I now have a zero forgiveness. Everybody gets excited. Okay, right back to the phones. You're on the air with the Barely Legal Radio program. So the reason I'm calling is recently I got a ticket for skateboarding in a, in a public area. Tomorrow I'm going to court okay. and I'm not really sure what to expect. I've never been to court before. You know, it's just like, again, one of those things you could be cruising on the sidewalk and somebody that loves it could hate it just for that one kid that like got in their way or knocked them, you know, in their shoulder while they're pushing down the road. skateboarding like 12, 13, 14 years. I don't exactly know. I started in like 96, so you, you can do the math. <laughs> do you have health insurance? Oh! My insurance got canceled. Now I'm like going through the steps of like getting it back. Oh! There's more freedom in the train. You don't get kicked out in the schools as much, uh, as much as you do here. And if they kick you out, they'll say, okay, you can skate here. They're not gonna give you a ticket. They have skate stoppers in some parts of Madrid and in Barcelona too. You find them everywhere here. For 98% of the applications, um, yeah, we're, we're a very, very effective deterrent. Uh, uh, <laughs> I had an article done on, uh, on, on us from People Magazine about six years ago, and there's a quote in there from Tony Hawk, I'll show it to you. Basically it says, yeah, I don't necessarily like what he's doing, but if he wasn't doing it, somebody else would be, you know. Yeah, I went to Barcelona, I went to Amsterdam for a few days. It was amazing, man, like some of the best, smoothest stuff ever. Like people are super nice. They like look at it as an art, look at it as an art, look at it as an art over there. I think there's more differences between skateboarding and other sports than most people realize. In skateboarding, there's no rules or regulations. There's no winning or losing. Whereas in sports, talent is measured by points and stats. In skateboarding, talent is measured by style and creativity with your environment. Because Killian was so broke at the time, he had to buy a plane ticket taken up from Tijuana, Mexico, to go to Spain. And time was running out before his visa was expired. Have you ever been to Tijuana? No. I've just heard that it's creepy or there, very poor, um, sketchy, dangerous. Tienen como unas 
48 horas. O a lo mejor menos. Entonces, si te toca suerte un día, a unas 5 horas, depende como ellos anden. Pero así de que te multen, no, no te multan. Do you have health insurance? Oh, that fall I took, I, I didn't notice it. I don't know what the f is going uh, on. Here? That's it? This whole s***, dude. It doesn't hurt when you move your leg.